this is it for tonight. I got the uh, transmission uh, or the flywheel shield here. Goes right in there. Got that painted and I'll put that on tomorrow. <clears throat> I'm gonna put the engine back together tomorrow. I got the uh, transmission all mounted. Drive lines completely installed. And um, got the fuel filter and the fuel lines ran. That is kind of a pain, but that's uh, the best I can get it in here. I'm pretty much going off of the routing um, with the way it was in here before. I don't like it, but it does look stock to me. When I look at the uh, Haynes manual, looks stock, but everything's really tight. But anyway, used a heat gun to to uh, take kinks out of the hose and stuff. But anyway, this right here will scoot forward, and then the body will sit right on here and hold it still. Same with this differential uh, vent tube here that sits out like this for the rear diff. It'll get kind of kind of pinned under the body. It'll sit on that body mount, <clears throat> but this is uh, this is it. Um, aside from assemb assembling the engine, I am uh, about ready to put this body on. I'm going to get this engine assembled. Once I get it assembled, um, I, yeah, I'm I'm ready to put the body on. So. Um, yeah, hopefully by the end of the week I can get that body put back on this uh, chassis here. All the crap inside the uh, chassis there, or the body there, is going on the engine. So, by cleaning that out, I'll have the engine back together. And I can pick that damn thing up, put it over here, get rid of that junk uh, chassis over there, and all them junk parts. Maybe I can get my garage back. And a Jeep in the process. Alright. It's uh, engine build day. I'm out here scraping the remaining um, gasket surface off here. Uh, not much on there. I've already pretty much cleaned it off. I'm not alone, of course. This one here stuck to me like glue pretty much throughout the entire process of building this thing. Anyway, um, beat the trash man up. I'm here working on this engine. Try and get it done today. Alright, it's just sitting on there right now. Everything's really loose. I gotta do some special stuff with this one. I gotta use some uh, thread sealant on here because it actually goes down inside the water neck here kind of exposed to the water that is so this one will get some uh, Teflon uh, liquid Teflon but it's well on its way here all right the head is on heads on and we're moving on using my Haynes manual here for the torque sequence and the uh, uh, the sequence of starting out with uh, uh, 22 foot-pounds moving up to 45 foot-pounds all the way up to 110 except for bolt number seven which was a hundred foot-pounds and the sequence there so we're good and tight I had to go get a a new torque wrench because uh, the torque wrench I'm using would only go up to uh, 85 foot pounds. Pretty much all I ever needed for Harley, so that's all I needed. But I had to go grab a new one, and I'm moving on. All right, I got the uh, <clears throat> upper assembly back in, cleaned up, molly greased up, and uh, ready to go. I'm gonna put the valve cover on there now and uh, seal this uh, seal this upper end up and get started on water pump, water neck, and all that jazz.
All right, this is where I'm at now. Got uh, coil mounted, valve covers on. Got these little brackets where they belong. And uh, getting ready to put the water pump on now. Just moving right along. Gonna have to stop here in a little while. Gotta go to a softball game, so. That's it for uh, for now. Well, we'll put about another hour in tonight. That is. All right. I was gonna put the intake and exhaust uh, manifold or the uh, header on, but uh, I got one stud here, no stud here, so that's a no go. I have to order another stud. I thought that there would be a stud in the bolt kit that came with my head. Or my header, but it did not. Anyway, this is where I'm at. Got quite a bit done. Um, the rotor uh, was the wrong size, so they sent me a rotor that uh, won't work. So I got a cap, the wrong rotor, wires, plugs, coil. So I have to. Uh, Stop by AutoZone. I get not AutoZone. God no, not going to AutoZone. Uh, O'Reilly's and pick one up. But that's where I'm at. All right, I'm getting ready to install these headers. I just painted them with uh, high heat paint. They came nice and black, but uh, it wasn't high heat paint. So also uh, the headers were right up against uh, the block and the oil pan so I had to do a little bit of uh, massaging with a nice uh, 10 pound sludge to get it to fit right so now it fits it's got about a quarter inch of space between uh, the header and the oil pan lip so it's a little tighter than I wanted it to be but it's not touching it now Okay, I got the header and exhaust manifold mounted. It has one gasket that stretches all the way across intake and exhaust port. Had to put these spacers on that came with the uh, pace setter header kit. And the reason is because this is not as, th the header is not as thick as the intake flange. So that's to compensate for it so I couldn't use these original not that I wanted to these original uh, spacer washers kind of but uh, which is fine so that's mounted I'll go ahead and put this uh, power steering pump bracket on and uh, move on and put the uh, carburetor I mean throttle body spacer and the throttle body on and uh, maybe tomorrow I can get some wiring in here because the wiring goes from back there at the tank and runs all the way across into the fuel injectors here and that's one of the bundles of wires that go in and I'll put that one in first alright that's midnight I gotta get to bed that's what I got done so far tonight I am putting an electric fan on, so I'm not going to need a fan on here. So that pulley is just going to stay like that. Got the injectors in. Got the uh, spacer for, I guess it kind of makes it a high rise intake there. Uh, throttle body spacer. I got remanufactured uh, fuel injectors. That's why that one's kind of an off color, but they're all yellow. This thing looks way better than it did. So, tomorrow, I gotta get that slave cylinder in. and get that rotor 
got the cap and wires there. And I gotta go through this wiring right here and then get that installed along with that alternator there. I'm gonna put that starter on tomorrow, but first I have to get some bolts to bolt this on. Uh, this is a flywheel, flywheel, flywheel guard, I guess you call it. But anyway, <clears throat> that's gotta go on there, and then the starter in there, and uh, I'm really ready to put a body on. I could really put the body on now, but just want to get rid of as many parts as I can and get it on the on the vehicle. So that's it. This thing looks good.